What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crash Course with Cole. So today we're going to be talking about one of the most fascinating things to ever happen in our galaxy, which is the Big Bang. So what is the Big Bang? Well, most likely you probably already have a pretty basic understanding of what occurred and what the Big Bang is, but there is probably a lot that you don't know or a lot that you think you know that's actually not true. So the Big Bang was one of the craziest things to ever happen in our solar system and is currently the dominant scientific theory for explaining the origin of our universe. It has also officially been labeled as the standard cosmological model. Scientists have been able to scientifically prove that the Big Bang really did occur. However, there are still handfuls of Americans that think that they are wrong and believe that the Big Bang never actually happened. Instead, they claim that the universe has no beginning or no end. A recent poll asked 1,012 Americans if they were confident that the universe began with the Big Bang. As you can see, the majority of the people are in disbelief of the Big Bang, with 30% of the responses stating, not at all confident. Have you ever heard of three-dimensional space? Well, you probably didn't know that the Big Bang is actually credited with creating this term. The mathematical definition of a three-dimensional space is a geometric setting in which three values, called parameters, are required to determine the position of an element. Basically, this is the informal meaning of the term dimension. We use three-dimensional space every day even if we don't realize it. And in physics and mathematics, a sequence of n numbers can be understood as a location in an n-dimensional space. So three-dimensional space is used by scientists very frequently, as it helps them determine or understand a particular space or point on an object. So when did this all start, and how did this theory come to be? Well, astronomers believe that the universe came into being about 13.8 billion years ago, caused by an explosion known as the Big Bang. No more than a second after this explosion, space and the building blocks of matter were created. One of the coolest parts about the Big Bang is that time as we know it began right after this occurred. From then on, the universe began to expand and still continues to expand to this day. Over billions of years, matter began to form into complex, large structures that still continue to evolve. Before the theory of the Big Bang was invented, George Lemaitre suggested the thought of our universe exploding from a cosmic egg or a single atom. An astronomer by the name of Fred Hoyle found that this theory of our universe exploding from a cosmic egg was preposterous. Later on, Hoyle invented the theory of the Big Bang, which was originally coined as a term of derision. There are many theories as to where the Big Bang occurred. So which theory is correct? Well, there's a simple answer. The Big Bang did not occur in just any specific point or location in our universe. The Big Bang actually consumed the entire universe. It happened everywhere. Scientists use the term the entire observable universe to describe where this explosion occurred, meaning that there was not a single area in space that was not affected by the Big Bang. So how does all this information help us? Well, scientists have determined that the Big Bang is a model of the history of our universe, and it is known that the Big Bang occurred during a very hot state in the universe. Many people believe that during this hot state, a massive explosion took place and everything in the universe blew up. Uh, however, that is false. The Big Bang was not just one random giant explosion that happened all of a sudden. Perfect Earth was just not shot out of the Big Bang. At the moment of the explosion, the Big Bang created an incredibly hot universe a fraction of the size of an atom. It immediately started to cool and expand. For a brief moment, it grew at a tremendous rate, in a process called inflation. But in less than a millisecond, the first matter was created. For thousands of years, the universe was dominated by radiation. If you have ever heard about the expansion of our universe, it's true. The universe expands every day, and the planets and galaxies around us are slowly moving away. Our universe has expanded dramatically since the beginning of time, and all the matter that makes up all of our galaxies today was crammed into a tiny small space. In fact, the universe used to be so small that atoms couldn't even form, and dark energy used to be overruled by the matter in our universe. This was all before the Big Bang. 
Now, our universe is mostly made up of dark energy due to the expansion. The Big Bang does a great job of explaining what happened after the expansion of our universe began, and describing how it all happened. Scientists have concluded that this expansion, or the Big Bang, occurred 13.8 billion years ago, when the universe was too small to handle the immense heat. Remember that the Big Bang was not a massive explosion of our universe, but more rather an expansion of our universe, and that this is a common misconception. Scientists were able to conclude that the distance between objects were a lot smaller back then as well, meaning that over time the stretches of our universe have expanded. In a nutshell, the Big Bang was the beginning of our universe as we know it today. It was also the beginning of time. Our universe will never stop expanding and will continue to grow day by day.